all these cases that you're talking about dropping, we have no single case from ESCC that has been dropped. Tell me something, Kemsa, the scandal. Yes. Was it an anti-corruption mission or was it political cleanup? Which one? We, we know Kemsa is too general, eh? So what are you asking me? I don't get you. Well, the big one, the 10 billion plus. The, the, the one that was the, the other time? Yes. Okay. By the way, we have concluded the Kemsa case and we have recommended. It was an attempt to do some shoddy work. You get the point? And we investigated, we saw some procedures that were not followed. Not a single shilling was lost and we have recommended administrative a remedy by Kemsa. It's the, the board and the management mm. will sit down based on our recommendation because there was nobody to charge. You're saying there was not a single shilling lost? Uh, for, yeah. It was, a, it was a tender that was being given. There was a, a plan to award a tender mm -hmm. using shortcuts, not the procurement process. And it came to the attention of the public and the ESCC. And we went through that, we saw, and we said these are the recommendations that this should not be done. Of course, uh, you, some people are suspended. Yeah. And uh, the board has got the powers not to reinstate them because of those uh, recommendations done by ESCC. And in many occasions, uh, Jeff, we have done a lot of uh, what you call disruption. There was a time, there was a, a tender that was to be given in prison. Immediately I was appointed uh, the CEO, almost 3.8 billion. And luckily we got information, we intervened and it, it got scattered. But you see, somebody said, why didn't you charge? You cannot, you cannot pinpoint an offense at that stage. But then, there's also another issue here we have to balance. I'll give you a good example of the cemetery scandal, the famous cemetery scandal. Mm -hmm. That scandal, people were found guilty, they were jailed, unfortunately, nothing was recovered. So do we wait until to go and charge people or if we do disruption, we avert losses of money. Which one is better? We are better off coming to disrupt, even though we don't have the clear clues of charging somebody, but we have averted a scandal that could have caused losses. If you look at recoveries of public land, the land that we have recovered runs to almost 40 billion. And one classic example that we have is the meteorological land mm -hmm. next to Panari Hotel where we recovered almost 55 acres, worth five billion shillings. At, at the time when we recovered, maybe now it's eight billion. And the president was there to launch the low cost housing projects. Mm -hmm. Go there and see the massive construction that is going on. That plot was grabbed by five individuals. Whom you know? No, but we, we, we knew and we took them to court. They had bought from uh, okay. government uh, people who had, uh, they, they facilitated the allocation to those guys. But uh, we went for them because we never saw any uh, evidence of exchange. It, this was during Kano time. Mm. The land was grabbed during Kano, mm. Kano time. It's, it takes time. We have recovered. If you drive to Nakuru, Naivasha, the Potato Research Center, Kalro, mm, Kalro. all that land had been grabbed. We recovered all of it. We have recovered islands in South Coast. Islands? Uh, islands, two islands in Wasini. Last, uh, almost uh, four months ago, this island, these two islands have been grabbed. One sold to an Italian and one to a Pakistani. You can comprehend what was supposed to take place. Mm -hmm. I don't want to imagine, but just imagine that way. Grabbing uh, islands, selling them to foreigners. So we have recovered even judiciary land in Eldoret, we have all the land that now has port, the Kisumu port, all that railway land had been grabbed. We recovered it. So what I say, I have an, an, an analogy of saying that the fight against corruption is going on the right direction, but it is going on very slowly. And I give an example of that stick of a clock. You have the three sticks. You have the one for the seconds, the one for the minutes, and the one for the hour. For the seconds, you can see it. Now, Kenya wants to see the fight against corruption like that. But this other one, for us, it is moving slowly like the hour clock. And uh, there's that big question people ask you. Oh, how come that a person who steals chicken and a fungo the second day? Mm. 
Namutu a corruption and a chukwa all those years. The logic is very simple. Imu tu ameba kuku, sunona kisu ndio hii hapa. Manyo ya hii, damu hii. Finished. You tell him, uh, umeshikwa na wamba, yes, mini meiba. The case is concluded. A corrupt guy, grand corruption, is technically investigated.